Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel. So in this video we are going to build this uh, vertical stabilizer and maybe I'm also going to show you how to create the rudder here but it's very close, the same technique, the same as we build the um, the flaps and the aileron, okay? So we'll see if, we, if, we, if you're going to have enough time so uh, I'm going to show you this one as well. But as usual, before I'm going to start, I just uh, again want to remind you, if you have uh, any questions, don't forget to check out the uh, the link in the description to this form. You can ask me anything over here and the files for uh, all the lessons, you can find them right here. And yeah, so now next thing is, before we're going to continue, there is an add-on that we need to uh, install and this is a really brilliant add-on uh, it's called Airfoil Sketch from File I'm going to show you in a moment how to use it and it's going to save you a lot of time okay and it's really fun actually to use it as well so uh, in order to download it you're going to have to sign in of course with your Fusion credential and then you can just uh, download it and install it as a normal exe file and it's very simple. As I can see from here, there is only for Windows. I don't see that he made anything for Mac. So sorry for that. Maybe there is another way to install it also for Mac. I'm not quite sure, but you can uh, ask him uh, that question. And of course, so in order to use that um, add-on, we're gonna need to work on the airfoil because if we look here, this airfoil is going to be a symmetrical airfoil, okay? It's not like the um, the wings, it's a bit different. This one is a symmetrical, it's equal on both sides. So we're gonna download it from here, from this uh, site, as you showed you before in the first video. And you need to look here under symmetrical airfoils. So it's gonna bring you over here. And down here, we just need to look and find the aerofoil that you are interested in. And to the right, you can see all those links and you need to download the source DAT file. In order to do that, you just right click on it and then save link as, and then just save it wherever you want. And that's it. It's very simple. So let's go back to our model here. And um, so after you finish to install the, the add-on, uh, you will find it here under the sketch. And if you cannot find it here, then you need to open the add-ins, go to add-ins here and activate it. It's right here, you select it and then run it, okay? And then you will be able to find it under the sketch drop down menu. Okay, so let me just uh, revert back uh, so we can build everything from the beginning. Okay guys, so here we are. We have created a new sub-assembly called Vertical Stabilizer, okay? Because we need to have the components for the Vertical Stabilizer and another component for the rudder and maybe some other components that you would like to add. For example, the lights and stuff like that. And so I've created a new component called Vertical Stabilizer and this one we need to activate. Remember that, okay? And next thing we're gonna do is just gonna turn on our canvas, the side view. And let's take a look and see the width of the the uh, airfoil that needs to be. So it needs to be somewhere from here to all the way right here. And what we are going to do now is we're going to create a new uh, sketch on this plane right here, okay? Let me just move it like that. Okay, <clears throat> in this case, I'm going to start from the top right here and I would like to follow this line over here so we start with a straight straight line from here to here and finish it I'm gonna zoom a little bit a little bit more so I can see what I'm doing just to make sure we are good place I'm just gonna position it and it looks okay. 
Next, it looks okay. Maybe this one, this side needs to be a little bit down. Remember, I'm clicking on the control while I'm dragging, so it's gonna be gonna give me a really nice smooth uh, movement. Next things, I'm going to fix it, and I'm going to drag this one so it fits all the way here. As you can see, when we're fixing, I cannot move it, but I can still change the the size of it. Okay. Perfect. Good. Now we're going to uh, offset this uh, line all the way somewhere about here. And it looks fine. Maybe a little bit more like that. Let's do 38. Here we go. Now I'm going to drag, see now I'm, when I'm dragging this, I'm dragging also the other one, it's not good. I don't know if it's uh, some kind of a bug because it's not supposed to move. Um, so it's a little bit odd that it's moving. It's only supposed to, when you fix it, it's not supposed to move at all. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, you know, remove the connection between them. So this is the icon, okay, this is the offset. I'm just gonna delete it. Good, so now I can take this point. Let me just, I'm gonna do the same as for the other one. I'm gonna fix this one. Now I'm gonna drag it somewhere here and let's zoom in. So I know where I am and it's going to be somewhere here. And this one is going to be something like that okay we can try to confirm the measurement by looking at the top view so we can see where we are let's take a look at the top view so we have one over here and this is you can see where it starts where it's end but don't worry about it it is going to end right here but let's see where it starts right here. And then we have the other one. It starts all the way right here. It's okay. That looks fine. You will see in there what I mean. We can turn this one off. Okay. So these are the first two uh, sketches that we're going to do now. Um, and you're going to see why I just created them. We're gonna finish them and we're gonna exit. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to the constructions and we're gonna build one a, using a planet angle. We're gonna start with this one here. I'm gonna select this one. It's 90 degrees like that. Looks good. Now we're gonna create a new sketch here. And we're not exactly creating a new sketch. We are going to use um I'm gonna project the sketch that we have created here. We don't need to create any link between them, which is also why it's important that you can create the link, but uh, we, it's not gonna be that helpful for you later on. But it's very important that you know exactly the length, okay? And you will see why in a moment. And I'm gonna click OK. Now I can turn off the other sketch and this one I'm going to turn into construction line. Now we're going to use our airfoil sketch from file. We're going to click on it. We're going to select our construction line and it's working only with construction line, not with a normal line. Okay. If you will try to select it, select a normal line, it's not going to work. And it also says here, select a construction line. Then you click OK. Then we need to look for our um, file that we saved. So we have three of them over here. I'm going to go with this one. You can select it. So now what it's actually going to do is it's going to create, create the sketch, bring it in, and it's also give us the exact measurement. OK, it's going to scale it based on the length 
the length of the um, construction line that we have created. So this is really, really cool. Instead of that, we're going to have to create it manually or you know scale it manually. And as you know, it's not really that fun. So it's doing it for us. As you can see, it looks perfect. It's the same size and it's really nice shape. And by the way, some of the airfoils are not really nice curved. So you have to test them before that. Okay. So just make sure that they are, uh, the leading edge looks good. It's nice and curved. So this one looks really, really good. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to close it. And because it's so small, so I'm just going to create a straight line and also create the, the, the profile. Good. So this is our first um, airfoil. Now we're moving on to the next one. So for now, we can just hide it and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to, I already have a shortcut over here, planet angle, select this line, click OK. Then we're going to create a sketch and we have this one on and we need to project the line and it's this one because I know it's the shortest one. And again, it doesn't have to be linked can turn this one off, select the line. You know what? I'm just going to show you. See if I'm going to try to select it, I cannot select it. Okay. So I'm going to turn it into a construction line by clicking on the X on the keyboard. And now we can click on this one and it's already been selected. Let's see. Now, now it's been selected. Good. Click OK. Check the, uh, select the, uh, our airfoil from here and boom, look at that. It's beautiful. See how long time it's actually saving us. So you can use the same thing also for the uh, wings as well. Now we just need to close it, close the uh, profile from here to here. Voila. So next step we need to create is the guide rails, the shape here. So again, we're going to turn this one back on and we are going to create a new sketch and it's going to be on the side here. Let's bring it in a little bit. Now this time we're going to choose a project intersect because you remember we are going to use either if it's the sweep command or the loft command, the lines must intersect with each other. Okay. And an intersect basically means that they have some kind of a constraint with them. So projection, I can just keep it and I'm going to go here and I'm going to select this line, not our mid line here, construction, I'm going to select this line here and it's going to give us the midpoint. So I'm going to move here to the right. And again, I'm going to select this line here, this, the shorter one and go out. And then I'm going to select again, the same our profile here, zoom in over here and select this one. And then I can click OK. Good. I can turn them now off. I don't need them right now because I have all the four points. Good. So I'm going to start with the first with a straight line from here to here. That was very easy. And just to check that it looks good. And it does. Beautiful. Next, I'm going to create a new straight line. It's going to be from here all the way somewhere about I'm just going to click on the control and key to help me position it exactly where I want it somewhere here. Good. Now we're going to use the control point spline. We're going to just draw it like that somewhere like that. Good. 
Then I'm gonna do something like that and connect it downward like that. Now I just wanna make sure that this one is not going to move. So I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna fix it. First, I'm going to create a tangent between those two lines, very important. Otherwise, we're gonna have issues if there is no tangent here. I'm gonna drag it down a little bit, also this one. We are we can change it always later on, as you know. Bring this one a little bit more up, something like that. So it goes like that, and then it goes in one. So we have some kind of a nice transition over here. Now, you don't have to do it this way. Again, it depends also on how you're going to attach the vertical stabilizer to the fuselage, okay? The whole mechanism in here. Because we can create something else from the outside and then we can create, combine them together, and then we can create a fillet here that's gonna give us this nice, uh, yeah, fillet area here, okay? But I'm gonna show you how to do this one. So this one is finished. We're just gonna stop the sketch. Uh, let's turn back on our airfoils sketches and it looks really really nice now from here you can either go with the patch environment it's up to you or go with a normal loft command in the model environment let's work with this one first let's see what's happening so we are choosing our first profile just let me just delete this one it's gonna be that one and our second profile is going to be that one. Something is totally wrong here. Let's turn this one off for a second. And it's not selecting. See, I need to turn the fuselage off because it's inside the fuselage. Okay, good. And now we're going to choose our rails. So we have one here. And the second one we have here. Now, as you can see, it kind of gave us um, the shape like a foot here, like a boot. I uh, don't like it that much, but let's see if we can maybe fix it a little bit. So I'm gonna just click OK, turn back on the sketch number 10 here for the shape and let's see if we can move it a little bit around it's going to change the shape also sometimes it helps sometimes not or maybe we can try that um, in the patch environment for this sometimes the the patch environment can give us uh, a different results so you know what let's delete this one and let's try doing it in the patch environment okay so we click on loft so we have everything here I need to select uh, this line as well. Plus, this one. The operation fair to adjust value or change input. That's because we need this line here as well, I think. Yes. Good. Now, as before, we're gonna go and choose this one here. And this one and this one so from the first look it looks like it's give us almost the same result but let's play with it and see what's uh, what's gonna happen maybe it will gonna change a little bit maybe not I don't know but 
but let's turn on the side view so I'm not going to be that far away from reality. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to be something like that. Let's see how it looks. Uh, basically almost the same. Uh, there is one thing I want to try that might gonna help. Let's go back to our profiles. And I want to deselect this one. And let's try also deselecting this one. For, ah, okay, that's because now we don't have a. So I'm gonna remove this one and see what's happening here. Okay, it's not gonna work. Doesn't make any that much change. But maybe it's not that bad as I think it is. So let's see how it looks. Just going to turn them off. Yeah. So let's turn back on the fusel edge. So it's not going to be really that bad. And we can change, we can still work on it, play with the shape in order to get the one that we want. I think it also depends on how many points we we have here. Um, let's see if I can go into shape here. Um, if I'm gonna delete this one. Maybe I'm just, you know, as you can see, I'm trying here. Maybe it's gonna make a different and difference here. Yeah, it actually did. So be careful how many points you're actually going to use here in that curve, okay? So you can see here it gives us a really nice, uh, much better uh, result. So we can do something like that. Yes, beautiful. So it looks really, really nice, much better than before. Okay, so this is a uh, one part of the stabilizer as you can see it's quite simple and fun to create i like it um, let's go back to the top and look everything how it looks and it looks really really nice as you can see here the transition inside it's really really nice looks good now we need to finish the uh, top so uh, we are going back to our stabilizer and we also have to, let's just see the, everything looks good over here. So what we need to do is, I'm just going to turn this one off. We're going to create a patch here at the top and a patch at the bottom. And we're going to stitch everything together. One, two, three. Voila. So now we have a body. Let's go we can stay here actually um now we need to finish the yeah the tip here at the, at the end so what we're going to do is first we are going to create let me just turn this one off we're going to create a sketch here at the top we're going to project the profile okay like that and now the problem is what I did here it is I'm not going to be able I think to cut it because it is linked so but let's try otherwise we can uh, let's just turn off the body for a second and another thing very important we need to do is I need to uh, let's see I need to create a straight line center line because we need to divide the line here the the uh, profile of the aerofoil uh, in the middle. I need to cut it and turn it into a 
construction we go into the break command it's not gonna allow us to do that because it is we need to uh, break the link good so now we will be able to break like here in the middle and we need to create another break here so I didn't um, create anything over here so I'm just gonna gonna create a straight line from here to here and I'm going to break it also in the middle in the moment you're also gonna see why so we finished it good so now we are going to create uh, another sketch so it's gonna give us the profile here so it's gonna be a sketch on all right on this plane again we are going to sketch project intersect so let me zoom a little bit it's gonna be like that and I'm going to the other side like that good can turn this one off now here we can just uh, create a straight line now I'm not quite sure I need to make sure that it's really straight based on the profile here so what I'm going to do is uh, gonna look for it yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for the collinear and between this one and this one it's going to project it automatically but it doesn't matter now we're going to click on um, pop, 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 pop. we can create a complete uh, spline here no problem and a straight line all the way here let's zoom in so we can work on it shape it something like that let's make sure that it looks good yep I'm happy with it now we can just trim the rest here okay so this is our profile now we can exit it and here we go okay can turn this one off turn this one back on just ignore this one and so here we go next one we're going to do if you have seen how I did tip of the wings exactly the same technique so we are going to choose this profile we're gonna do this one later then we're moving on to this profile just a second create a new one this profile click on the plus here and this profile and voila here we go it looks really really nice and extremely simple to make so I'm gonna click OK now we need to um, there is another thing we need to do here we need to close it okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create um, let's see if I can create uh, from here to here no it's not gonna work I don't know let's try it the only thing that can be a little bit concerning it's this one here I'm gonna turn this one and let's see if I can use this some kind of a guide no I cannot but I think it's gonna it's pretty much straight as you can see here so it's not a big deal that's okay you can click OK now I want to stitch those two pieces together great because now I can create a patch here behind here we go so again stitch those two and voila let's turn back on the other body and here we go so we have the vertical stabilizer plus the tip now the only thing basically left to do is 
before it's already 20 minutes no, so I'm not going to do the um, the rudder I'm going to do it maybe the next video and so basically what is left in this position is first uh, work on the rudder and then connect this piece the tip and the rest of the vertical stabilizer okay because this one we don't need to cut for the rudder as you can see here okay so you're gonna create a cut for the rudder and then later on you're gonna have this piece and this piece over here and the rudder is gonna be for itself you can just cut it also over here exactly again depends on how you want to connect the vertical stabilizer to the body of the fuselage so let's see the results so far see what you've got so yeah look at that it's beautiful perfection i would say it looks really 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 nice and as you can see also with those techniques they're so simple to work with and uh yeah okay so uh, i think it will be it for this video um the usual if you have any questions don't forget to contact me in this community here and uh, don't be shy and, and can ask me anything if you want to see more if you have any specific questions uh, more details let me know maybe i'm gonna if something i can answer immediately i'm gonna answer maybe something that i'm gonna create a video in the end and yes don't forget to give a nice feedback to this guy here Labir CNC, okay, he did this amazing uh, add-on which can help us a lot. So that this is it for now. Remember, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye bye.